Stacy, you worry too much. I'm settled in front of the TV, I've got a hot chocolate, and I'll be in bed by 9.30. Don't fuss, my dear. I'm doing exactly what you suggested, taking a break. Yes, bless you, Stacy. No, I'm not doing anything too energetic, I swear it. Yes, complete rest. All right, me too. All right, cheers, dear, bye-bye. up on uh, that guy right there at table 122. Albert Stroller. Gotcha. Hey, big ten, one more time. Whoa! Again! Right on! Ah, right on! We're with casino security. Would you please come with us, sir? Oh, hairy dog. <laughs> I heard you were at Caesars. You heard wrong. Ah, how you doing? What's it been, 20 years? Yeah, give or take, yeah. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd see this day. I thought you'd be uh, retired out of years ago. No, no, no. So, uh, what's the scam this time, Alan? Scam? I'm on vacation. Oh, really? Oh, man, you tell him he pays that big when he comes to the country. You explain to me. What do we got here? This is uh, Albert Stroller. He's a uh, con artist. You caught him cheating my table? No, no, no. Me and Albert go back a long way. He's been working casinos on this strip for a long time. I mean, your old man barred him, what was it, 20 years ago, Albert? Yeah, yeah. So what's the story, old man? You had to steal my money. No, <laughs> I'm on vacation. OK. Well, I suggest you cross the Oceanic off your shopping list. Okay. What do you say we show Mr. Stroller here what we do with Griffiths? Johnny, he's an old guy. You said my father bought him, right? Yeah, but he never... He's got the balls to walk in here, Harry. It's a lack of respect. I wasn't cheating. I don't like Griffiths, period. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I want you to remember who did this. Stopped returning my calls. I, I phoned the hotel. They, they said there'd been an accident. No, I'm fine, as you can see. Albie. Yeah, there was a little accident. It's nothing. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what happened to you. There's nothing to tell. I, I don't believe you. I got in a little trouble. I think it's best that we leave. That's all. What kind of trouble? Look, it's best that we go. No. If you're in trouble, I want to help. Look. We're out of our league, to understand. Oh, I very much doubt that. Yeah, I used to work a strip years ago. I made a pretty good living, too. Tell you the truth, there are more marks per square mile in Vegas than there are anywhere else in the world. 
So I'd take on the marks during the day, and then I moved to the casino at night. Pretty soon, one after another, the casinos all began to know the grifters, and you couldn't get a game going anywhere. I didn't think when I came back here, to be honest, anyone would remember me, but I didn't reckon on Harry Doyle. So who's he? Uh, he's a casino security chief. He's worked for all of the clubs all up and down the strip. He told his boss who I was, and it was his boss who decided to teach me a lesson. Well, whoever he is, he's about to get to know us. Split up, find out where you can. Shit. 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 Did you find out the same as us? This place is run by Johnny Maranzano, son of the late great Frank Maranzano, a mafia boss who was found at Las Vegas International Airport with three heads and a duffel bag. Question is, are we gonna pack now or are we gonna leave in the morning? We ain't going anywhere. We got a score to sell. I take it you guys have never watched The Sopranos? These guys don't fight fair. They hurt Albie. So we have to find a way to hurt them. Las Vegas. All right, lads. That's nice English. Why don't you just move on? Huh? Hey, Harry, right. guys having a good time. Now, you are a very, very big guy. But I'll tell you something, son. You ain't the boss. You look like hard help to me, and so do you. But you, you're a little bit different, ain't you? And you do look like the boss. You've got that kind of big boss look about you, ain't you? I've got to tell you, mate, this place is amazing. I love it. I love it. You've got the best looking birds. You've got these lovely big slots. Something I can do for you? Yes, there is. I want to shake you by the hand. You know, we actually get a lot of people here from London. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm different. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm here to take all of your money. Be done. Anything can be done, I think. You know what's nice? Works at a million dollars a finger. Big Daddy. The biggest slot machine in the world. Created by Johnny Maranzano in loving memory of his father, Frank. It opened in a blaze of publicity a year ago with a $5 million jackpot set in glass in the machine. What about security? OK, three-inch glass, water beyond that, fish, then another section of glass before you get the money. Six miniature cameras on the machine itself, all pointing at the cash, eight more eyes in the sky, covering the machine and the area around. The security guard next to the machine, 24-7. To cut a long story short, it's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Look, if we could shut the casino down somehow, maybe he give us time to work on the machine, maybe. But I got two emergency power units. We can't cut into the CCTV anywhere, and the money's in full view all the time. I mean, there's no way it can be done. <clears throat> I'll have to think of something else. Well, my dad used to keep fish. Billy. No, look, you see, the thing is, yeah, my mum made him get rid of them. Tank kept them going green. How comes where they got the fish ain't green? Don't they have special water distilled or something? No, 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 no. That would, uh... That would kill the fish. So they must shut it down to clean the tank? No, I checked. It runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's never been shut down. So how they do it? I don't know. 
and it will. Can I get a beer? Who's winning? Giants, four to three. I had a friend who went out with a baseball player once. She used to get turned on by his pitcher's glove. She used to make him wear it during sex. I was never quite sure how that worked. He, he should do his own, I guess. I read a book once, like, about sexual triggers. You know, what gets you all horny and out of control, like leather and stuff like that. And at the back, they had this little questionnaire. You filled it in, and it gave you your own sexual trigger. Mine was like fish. So, what are you doing here in Vegas? Behind the machine to the right where the security guard stands is a door. Casinos have security doors all over the floor. They're designed to blend in so you can't see them. Just behind that is a steel door which gives access to a small room at the back of the machine for maintenance staff. So you can clean the fish tank from behind too? It's done by a local contractor. What do you think? I don't know. But there might be something. OK, well, let's go with it till we draw a blank. Ash, you find out how we get in the room. Albert, you tell him everything you know about casino security. Well, what about us? You two... You two are going to work. Drinks are free as long as they're gambling. OK. The men will think you're easy, and don't tell them otherwise, as long as they're gambling. The women may try to boss you around, but that's OK, too. As long as they're gambling. You get paid on a Friday, tips are yours to keep, and sleeping with customers is strictly forbidden. If they're in their room screwing you, they're not on the floor playing tables. Questions? I think I get it. Heavy on the makeup. Your uniform will be provided. Report to Ronnie Kranz. He's your pit boss. I get a lot of you kids through here, on their way to the coast, and they get the Vegas bug. Don't stay here too long. You end up a bump. You phone your parents regular. Yes, sir. That's good. All right. You don't let no one touch the fish. You don't let kids knock on the glass. Right. Any fish die on your watch, I dock it from your wages. Yes, sir. Now, sometimes when you take them out with the net, they freak out and die. I don't know. They have a heart attack or something. Just make like nothing happened and put them in the bag anyway. You might want to shake it a little just to add effect. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I told Ash everything I knew. Great. You must have really missed this place. Man, if you're a gambler, there's no better place to be in the world. So is that why you came back? Uh, yeah, partly. And I also wanted to see an old friend of mine. We were partners for a while. We used to work the shoe switch together. The shoe switch? Yeah. Well, see, in the early days, when everyone was memorizing and marking the cards at the blackjack table, I'd fake a heart attack, and then my friend would switch the whole shoe. Now, he knew the order that the cards would come out, because we'd spend the entire night together before putting them in that way. I tell you, we really cleaned up for a while. I wasn't there when they caught him. They'd beaten him, I mean, half to death. He never worked that con again. I want you to understand something. This is no ordinary mark. If they catch you, they don't call the cops. They kill you. Understand? They kill you. Hey, Thomas. How are you doing? Good, thanks. So you got in OK, huh? Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate you putting in the work for me. 
Al, you do your job, stay away from trouble. That's thanks enough. I have a daughter your age. I won't let you down. You know, I've been here in Vegas for 40 years. I've seen them all come and go. Big stars, high rollers. But I've also seen a lot of pretty girls throw their lives away. I would hate for that to happen to you. Isn't that Johnny Maranzano? Stay away from him. What's he like? He's New Vegas. I mean, his old man had class. This kid's just an animal. You watch yourself. He is not cool. Thanks for the tip. No, you remember what I said. Stay away from him. If I was you, what I would do is use this stuff. In fact, I do use it. I have a tank at home that I use. You can tell it's very possible. It's more than one So, I mean, I, they won't sell me enough in quantity to keep it in stock all the time. That's the point of view. Okay. I've worked out a way this can be done. Oh, yes. In theory. It'll take a lot of planning, a lot of things going our way. On the plus side, unlike most robberies, we don't have to worry about going to jail if we get caught, on account of the fact that we're stealing from the mob and they'll just drive us out into the desert and shoot us. <laughs> now, Maranzano has a reputation for being a perfectionist, so the last thing he wants in his state-of-the-art slot machine is green slime. So... He gets a local contractor to clean the tank once a month. The next one being scheduled for tomorrow. Now, we won't be ready to go tomorrow. So if we don't do it tomorrow, we're going to have to wait another month? No, look. Like I said yesterday, Big Daddy is a tribute to Johnny Maranzano's old man Frank. Now, the story goes that Frank bought little Johnny a fish tank when he was a kid and told him that the bubbles were a symbol of how he was going to rise to the top. My guess is that the only reason Johnny would bring the contractors in at any other time is if we make something go wrong with those bubbles. Oh, what? Well. OK. Two capsules. One's easy. A laxative that kicks in after ten minutes and lasts all night. This is what's going to make sure Billy goes on that cleaning trip tomorrow. Second's a bit more involved. H2O water absorbent polymer. Absorbs 800 to 1,000 times its weight in water. Watch very carefully. Now, you can get this stuff coated so it doesn't kick in straight away. The coating dissolves over, say, 24 hours, and then the polymer starts to work. If Billy can drop a small amount close enough to the air jets, as they dissolve, they'll clog them up and restrict the airflow. Using Billy's job at the aquatic shop, we make sure we're the ones to go and fix it. Now, when we get there, we whack up the air pressure to clear the block jets, and that will cause enough turbulence to mask the view of the money for a few seconds. That's a lot of money to move in a few seconds. Yeah, well, the idea is to leave it so it appears the money hasn't moved, yeah? So, we use... This. Those few seconds of water's bubbling will give us a chance to put this in front of the money. So that when the water settles, it would look like the money's still there. So how am I going to get them capsule thingies in then? Yeah, well, I'm uh, working on that. Can we do this? No. Nah. <laughs> it's your call, Danny. The Mafia of Shem. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, coffee's up. Put him in a south town. 
Okay? All right. What, Harry? One of the girls on the roulette is uh, paying out on the wrong number. Three times the same guy. So why are you telling me? Deal with it. Well, I would, but uh, you told Polly to hire her. You know, last week, a little blonde. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that was for services rendered. But the question is the same, man. What are you telling me for, Harry? As much as I'd love to do your job for you, I couldn't live off the pay. Oh, I can deal with it. I just wanted to know if you wanted me to uh, go easy on her, that was all. Why? I didn't. Shit, Harry, I got a casino to run, okay? You know the rules. Take her out back, mark her face, and dump her in the trash. And take the guy, too. Show him what happens when you settle for sloppy seconds. Boss? Hey, Big Daddy's getting clean today. Uh, yeah, they'll be here in an hour. Let me know when they're done. I'll come take a look. The trigger's under the handle. You pull it once when it's directly over each jet. How's everything else? It's pretty good. <laughs> Kid, come with me. I got a job on a strip. Everyone else is in a crapper. so I can divert call to the contractor to here. We can make IDs using Billy as a master. I need you to make sure the van's ready. OK. Stacy, I need you to be with the guard at the machine. Right. I think that's everything. I've probably forgotten something, but it's too late now. So let's get a good night's sleep, eh? Got a busy day tomorrow. He's done a great job. Yes, he has. You don't think we should do this, do you? You know how many crews have tried to take this town more prepared than we are? Yeah, but they weren't us, were they? Hmm. No, but maybe that's not enough this time. You think I should call it off? Well, you're in this because of me. You know how much guilt there is on your conscience if it goes wrong? Albie, you know, there might be stronger crews out there. They might be smarter, better prepared. But you know why we succeed? We succeed because... because of who and what we are. We make each other special. You know? If we don't care for each other, if we don't do anything, you know, when one of us is hurt, if we just walk away, we ain't got anything, are we? We're just crooks. You've come a long way, Daniel. I had a great teacher. What's this? Ah, uh, they just, uh, they just cleaned it yesterday. Get it fixed. Boss. Lucky Seven Aquatics, how can I help? 
Oh, yeah, that's the air valves. They get blocked sometimes. No, no, I don't have to go in the machine. The valves are on the outside. Sure. Yeah, I'll send someone right over. Yo. Okay. Hey, Norm. Mrs. Foster caught again. She thinks her fish have caught a fungus. Okay, but don't be long. Send security out. Nah, they just need to get to the uh, air valve on the outside. Huh. All right. job, uh, but Harry said it was urgent. Bubbles are screwed. Okay. Well, we'll blow them through. You need three guys to turn a valve? We were coming back from somewhere else when we got the call. <laughs> How long is this going to take? Oh, not long. Sir. Plus jam. Okay, buddy. Get in position. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're ready to blow the jets through now. Tank there is going to go wild. Just thought y'all want to tell them upstairs. Control. Go ahead. Uh, they're about to blow the jets through on Big Daddy. Uh, let you know it may kick up a bit. Understood. Thanks, sir. I, I better get back there. Oh, hey, I, you never told me you were at the Sands when Sinatra was there. Sinatra, Sammy Davis, Dean Martin, Peter Law, their whole rat pack. It's a hey, one night. Okay, go. Right, Billy. You got two seconds when I say go. I love Dean Martin. You know, Mr. Martin was a true gentleman. Hey, drink like a fish. All right, ready? Okay, three, two. Sixty-nine. No way. I was a bellboy at the old International Hotel when he first did his concert. 
I had women offering me a hundred bucks for his room number. <laughs> Cheese, bacon, burgers, and six bottles of French champagne. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find out what the hell the Secret Service is doing running around the hotel like that. You know what? You know, I better check on these guys. Uh, no. Thomas. Uh, <laughs> Where are they? Any more trouble, give us a call. Sure thing. Oh, guys? I'm gonna need to look in your gear. Guys in for the tank? Yeah, they just left. Terrific answer. Right? <clears throat> What's wrong, boss? What's that? Uh, looks like uh, some kind of a disc. Open it up. Calm down, Johnny. We can see the money through the tank. That's not possible. Where were you? I was standing right next to the machine. Get out of your fire, get out of here. Get out of here! Get out of here! They do not walk out of this. Run back the tapes from Big Daddy this morning. Stop. Hold it there. 
That's the loud English guy from yesterday. Son of a bitch. If only casinos find a way to stay. Are we great or what? Yeah, well, I'm not wishing to put a damper on things, but I think we should pack and get out of here, yeah? Ash is right. Yeah, that gets my vote too. Okay, so back to the hotel, change, then get on the road. It's Marizona. Shit. Come on, let's get out of here. I want them found. Put some guys at the airport. And if they don't show? Who we got on the payroll who can find people? Uh, Joey Pepper. Nothing much good happens in Vegas he don't know about. Get him here. I want them dead by midnight. Well, we can't risk going to the airport. Well, we can't stay here. Well, if they found the hotel, they're going to find the iron car. We've got to switch. I'll sort it. Go on, then. And hurry up. Go on. What's your friend done? You all right? Can you, can you take any more time? Right. I'm gonna need 3,000. What? Three grand. You bought it? Well, what did you want me to do? You're supposed to be a bleeding con, man. Well, can we just get the car? Now would be good. Ash. Bring me the change. It's a four hour drive to LA. Okay. We'll get there, get out of trouble, then decide. Anyone need a lift? Squeeze in next to Elvis. Please, I'll let you drive. I'm calling to shop. Albert. Sorry, Albert. Ah, right on. Let's go. Go on. You cool? That's it. Go on. Back. Go on. Go on. Go on. <clears throat> Joey Pepper. Mr. Maranzano. Harry Field, you in? Yes, sir. I want them found. I don't care what it costs, what you have to do, you understand me? Maybe when we get there, we should all split up. I don't understand how they got into us so soon. Well, it's too late to worry about that now. Well, what if they've got someone waiting at LA airport for us? Arizona's got people there, too. Guys, maybe we should just give the money back. Money means nothing to them. They're sure. It's us they want. Joey just called to say that he saw them headed out of Vegas toward L.A. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm great. I'm starving. We haven't got time to eat. So why are we stopping? Because we need to change the car. What, you two? Fans are just parties over. Yeah. Right. OK. You know, this ain't gonna go away, don't you? I'm out doing a Now they're on to us, they ain't gonna give up. Even if we get back to London. I mean, this is a mob. I don't know. They got people there, too. What a mess. Well, look, come on. We used false names at the hotel, didn't we? No, 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 that might slow them down a bit, but then... Uh, it won't be long before they find out who we are. So now what? I understand. All right, yeah, goodbye. All right, they know we're in L.A. Every crook in town is looking to do Marizano a favor. I think our best bet is to go down to Santa Monica. I got a friend who's got a boat moored there. Hey there. I guess this is your lucky day. I'm just ahead of you. They're in a blue caddy convertible. I've got contacts in L.A. They're looking out for them when they get there. Uh, Joe, we got guys at LAX and all the train and bus depots and a couple of LAPD guys on the payroll. They're all looking out for them. 
Now, there is no way out of L.A., so just close them down. What's the word? He's on it. It's a matter of time, is all. You better be right. Joey will find him, trust me. <laughs> you hear this guy? He's my head of security. Someone just stole $5 million. He's telling me to trust him. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. You don't have to be like that. Pull over. Maybe I should be like this, huh? You want it should be like that? Get in the car. Get in the car! Unbelievable. Now it's raining in the desert. Tell me something. Give me some good news, Joey. I've done some digging. It seems like they pulled in a favor. They're headed for a boat more to Marina Del Rey. Good. Well, do yourself a favor and make sure they don't walk out of this alive. I thought that's what you might want, so I've already taken care of it. Call me when you get here. I'll tell you where I'm at. Which one, Albie? Straight ahead. Huh? Okay, I'm here. Where you at? All right, you sure you can drive this, baby? Yeah, 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 I think so. Right, yonder to the seven seas. Here we have liftoff. Hey, guys, we do get out of this, yeah? What do you think I should spend my share on? Got a long way to go yet, do you? Yeah, but if we do, I, I reckon a, a bar or a club. I like a world cruise. Marks as far as the eye can see. <laughs> you know what I do? By a greyhound. A greyhound? Yeah, I've always fancied a greyhound. No, it's got to be a beach house somewhere. The Caribbean. Danny? Stadium agency. What? Think about it. All those birds, desperate for a bunker, sending their personal details, their desires, their innermost secrets, and their phone numbers. Oh, Danny! <laughs> Come on, Ash. We need to shift it. You got them? They're down there. You said you're taking care of them. I have. You know the money's on the boat. about the money. Joseph. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah, that's music to my ears. Right, right. Someone pinch me. I'm dreaming. Hello, Joey. <laughs> you look great. You too, yeah. Hey, 
I'm working for the other side now, chasing bad debts instead of running them up. <laughs> well, that's why I called you. I hope I'm wrong, but I might need some help. I think our best bet is to go down to Santa Monica. I got a friend who's got a boat moored there. If we can get down there, I think it got us a way out. Oh. Remember that scam I told you about, the shoe scam in Vegas the guy I worked with? His name was Joey Pepper. After they beat him up, he started working for the casinos, looking for guys who left Vegas with unpaid markers. So? So, if you want to see anyone in Vegas, you got to see Joey. And he can help us? Yes. How? How? By blowing us up. Call me when you get here. I'll tell you where I'm at. Just like the old days. Right, you sure you can drive this, baby? Yeah, 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 I think so. Right, yonder to the seven seas. Look, we've got to get this right. Here we have liftoff. Well, guys, if we do get out of this, yeah, what do you think I should spend my share on? Got a long way to go yet, do we? on the boat. Is that about the money? Legend. Oh, thank you, my dear. So, Ryan Frey, you know, there's not much point looking for someone you think's dead, is there, right? Why am I rowing? You know, I'm still gutted about lobbing half a million dollars in the air. Oh, look, it had to look right. Maybe we should take this in turns, yeah? And there's still plenty left for your dating agency. There's always that, though. Guys, I'm not being funny here, but my arms are really starting to ache now. Um, wait a minute, where's all the line gone? Have we got a compass? Oh, bad. We're gonna need more than a compass. Look at here. Oh. No, 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 it's all right. Just grab something to bail out. All right, listen. Yeah. Don't get the money wet. Actually, it is coming in a bit oh, quick. I think bleed nails this. Hello? Mickey. <laughs> oh, hello, mate. Yep. Yeah, yeah, everything's going really well. Never been better yourself. That's, that's good, Mick. Mick, no offence, me old pal. Little bit busy right now. Can I call you back? All right, mate. Uh, Danny, he could have helped. We don't need any help, all right? As your leader, I will get you out of this. Right. Ash, which way's England? What? Hey, hey, you use your brain occasionally. Wait! Wait! Right. I've got an idea. 